What's good? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy Matthew Shack live here in Los Angeles. Welcome to Matthew Shack Unfiltered. Last couple of days had very good conversations with a lot of members of Raider Nation. The majority of you guys, um, I've I've had very good conversations with you guys. You guys really want to win, and you're really open to hearing different reasons from a lot of people, a lot of channels, and 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 just people in general who actually care about the season and why we're not succeeding in the manner we feel we should. And then we got the other faction who want to come in and they want to be jokey smurf and they want to be funny and they want to say stuff, um, be disrespectful. And then they expect somebody, a grown a man or a grown woman to not respond uh, in kind. And that's just something that we're going to have to deal with as a family. Raider Nation is a family. You don't always agree with members of your family. You may not even like certain members of your family. You know what I'm saying? But we're still family. But with that being said, I'm always going to I'm always going to defend myself against people being disrespectful, saying things out of pocket, and do not be surprised when I come back in a vicious fashion uh the way Al Davis would have been handling this coaching situation because that's my pedigree and that's where I'm from and that's how I do things and that's how it's going to be. With that being said, I didn't like um, what Josh McDaniel said when he said the Raiders need to learn how to win. And that's just goes to the arrogance, the general arrogance that uh, Josh McDaniels has brought to the Raiders coming from, you know, the Patriot way, a.k.a. the, the um, New England Patriots and Bill Belichick and their six championships and the way that they have been um, uh, lifted up in the media as being the perfect organization. And you come here and you try to force another culture on a culture that's already been established, uh, you know, 62 years ago. You know, you're not going to a franchise that's never won anything. You just came into a franchise who hasn't won anything in quite some time. We have our own history and our own pedigree. So what I'm saying is it's not that the Raiders need to learn how to win. We, we are a playoff team from last season. We went to the playoffs with an interim coach where our coach got fired after week three, brought in Rich Bisaccia, made the playoffs, and won the last four games of the season with a less talented roster than we have right now. So it's Josh McDaniels that need to learn how to win, man. When I started looking at his record and I started looking at the things that are facts, when I said that he's on the hot seat, even he might not even have been qualified to get the job in the first place outside of him being a six-time champion as an offense coordinator under Bill Belichick's system. Just a couple of things to think about. Number one, it's been over 4,000 days since he's won a game as a head coach. That's number one. Number two, he has lost 10 of his last 11 games as a head coach going back to Denver. He's lost 10. 10 out of 11 games, man. Okay? That's the that's the next caveat. The next thing after that, he was 11 and 17 as a coach. He wasn't even a uh, had a winning record as a coach. Okay? As far as what we've been saying over here at Matthew Shack unfiltered about running the football, the statistics speak for themselves. The Raiders are passing the ball 71% of the time on offensive possessions. Okay? That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You talk about having balanced football. It's obvious. 71% of the time we're passing the ball. 30% of the time we're running the ball. When we got five running backs on the roster. Josh Jacobs is running excellent. His yards per carry is up from last year. He's running the ball as he should. But he's not getting the ball at all. And uh, uh, he's only got 135 yards rushing in the past two games. Devontae Adams only got is not being targeted enough. Because they're trying to do all this other stuff. Okay, you got that situation. Um, and right now, we're going into two division games. And the last time we were 0-4, if we lose against the Denver Broncos, which we all hope we don't. The last time, the coach who did that was Dennis Allen, who got fired after going 0-4 in 2014. So let's not act like Josh McDaniels can't get fired, you know, going 0-4. I'm rooting for Josh McDaniels. I'm not on here not rooting for him because if he fails, the Raiders are failing. And that's the big picture. The big picture is I don't want to fail, dog. 
I don't care about who's the quarterback. I don't care about who is the coach if we're winning games. Just win baby means win at all at all costs, by any means necessary. Whoever it takes to win, that's what we need to do. But it's not looking good statistically. It's not looking good on the field. It's not looking the eye, it's not passing the eye test. And there's a bunch of other things going on. But if we can win these next at least these two division games, I'm back on the train, bro. If we can win these next two division games against Denver, and then we can win against Kansas City, who just lost to the Colts, who were winless, they're beatable. And then the Texans, who is the other team that has who's winless, but they don't have an 0-3 record. We're back in it. But that's the key, man. Is Josh McDaniels going to galvanize that locker room to play right? And is he going to give our players a chance? Is he going to give our players to actually an opportunity to make plays? We'll soon find out. All right, man. Love all y'all out there, man. Matthew Shackenfield.